Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of 1 minus x plus f of x over x minus 1 equals 1 over x. And we're going to be solving for f. Let's go ahead and see how we can solve these kinds of problems. Usually, we use substitution to solve these kinds of functional equations. We only have a single variable, so we kind of have to come up with more equations so we can cancel something out. Make sense? Because some functional equations contain more than one variable, such as we have an equation like f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y. You hopefully know Cauchy's functional equations and different types. And these are actually satisfied by very common elementary functions. But this one is pretty different because this function may not be something that you can easily uh, guess and check. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this problem. First of all, notice that I have 1 minus x inside the parentheses as an argument, x over x minus 1 and 1 over x. So one thing that happens is there are some certain functions that if you compose them with themselves, like composing f with f, f of f, f of f of f, at some point you get the identity function, which means you basically got a cyclic group because it's going to be a cycle. Anyways, let's start by replacing x with x minus 1 over x. Now you might be questioning why would we do something like this? Well, if you do, you're going to get something interesting. So let's go ahead and do it and then I'll tell you what we're, we're getting. Now, replacing x with x minus 1 over x, I'm not saying x equals x minus 1 over x, by the way, meaning that you have to do it everywhere. So we have to replace all these x's with x minus 1 over x. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to be getting f of 1 minus x minus 1 over x equals f of x minus 1 over x divided by x minus 1 over x minus 1 equals the reciprocal is going to be just x over x minus 1. Let's go ahead and simplify this. That's going to give us another equation. And then we'll come up with the third equation. And then we'll go about solving it. Now here we make a common denominator. And we get x minus x plus 1 over x. Here we can make a common denominator again. And the denominator should actually cancel out. x minus 1 minus x over x. So these x's will cancel out. These x's will cancel out. And here nothing cancels out. But that's good enough. Now, from here we get f of 1 over x equals, actually that's not equal sign, that's a plus sign. Plus, plus, and this is also going to be a plus sign. Right? Because the, in the original problem, that was a plus sign. Okay. Now, when you simplify this, you're going to notice that these x's also cancel out, leaving us with x minus 1 divided by negative 1. Negative 1 is just going to negate it and give us f of 1 minus x. And the sum is equal to x over x minus 1. So this is going to be our second equation. Let's go ahead and call this the second equation. This is going to be our first equation, the original one, right? And we do need to come up with a third equation. And we can do so by replacing x with... Guess what? x minus 1 over x again. Why? Because it works. Okay. So when you do it here, you're going to get f of 1 over x, which is the reciprocal. So this is going to be f of x over x minus 1. This one is going to be f of 1 minus. Remember, all the x's are going to be replaced with that. So it's going to be 1 minus x minus 1 over x. Again, from here, right? Equals x minus 1 over x divided by x minus 1 over x minus 1. Make sense? So we did all the replacements, simplify this, and call it the third equation. So let's see. f of x over x minus 1 plus. Now here you can basically simplify this as x minus x plus 1. Notice that uh, when you subtract a minus sign, you make it a plus sign. And here we can make a common denominator again, just like before x minus 1 minus x over x, x cancels out, and then the denominators cancel out, x minus 1 over negative 1 is going to give us 1 minus x. These two are going to cancel out, so we have f of x over x minus 1 plus f of 1 over x equals 1 minus x. Isn't that interesting? It's kind of like a cycle, right? So, and this is going to be our third equation. 
Now, we have three equations. Let's go ahead and put them side by side. What is the second one? f of 1 over x plus f of 1 minus x equals x over x minus 1. This is the second equation. And then we should have the original equation, which is f of 1 minus x plus f of x over x minus 1 equals 1 over x. Awesome. We got three equations, three variables. Wait a minute. Aren't, isn't there only one variable? Well, there are actually three variables. If you focus inside the parentheses, we have the 1 minus x, f of 1 minus x right here. We have the f of 1 over x right here and right here. And then we have the f of x over x minus 1 here and here. So you can go ahead and call them something if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and do the following. Add these equations. That's going to give me everything twice because we have two of each. So 2 times f of x over x minus 1 plus, and I can actually take the 2 out like this and then add inside what we have, f of 1 over x plus f of 1 minus x. And then this sum is going to equal 1 minus x plus x over x minus 1 plus 1 over x. Awesome. Let's go ahead and write this as 1 minus x over 1. So we can make a common denominator. To make 1, we need to multiply x by x minus 1. x minus 1 by x. And this one by x squared minus x. Because that's going to be our common denominator. Right? And now we have to take care of the numerators. This is 2 times. So let's go ahead and again keep it 2 times the sum equals the following. Now we've got to distribute this. But let's go ahead and write it this way first with a common denominator. And then we'll simplify. Plus x minus 1 all over x squared minus x. Now, it's two times what we're looking for. It's the three-way sum. So let's not write it every time because that's just going to be, and you can call that S if you want, kind of like a 2S, right? And S is defined as the sum of these three things, which is S. So now we have 2S equals, let's go ahead and distribute everything. X squared minus X minus X cubed plus X squared plus X squared plus X minus 1 divided by x squared minus x. Let's see if anything cancels out. 2s equals, well, negative x cubed, that's 1. x squared plus x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. Nothing cancels out so far. And then we have the negative x and positive x. Yay, something canceled out. And then minus 1 divided by x squared minus x. And if you multiply both sides by 1 half or divide by 2, you're going to get s as negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 divided by x squared minus x times 2, but I can write it as 2x squared minus 2x. Make sense? You get the trick? Now, what is this equal to? This is equal to f of x over x minus 1, right? And then plus f of 1 over x plus f of 1 minus x. Something interesting about these equations is that we don't have f of x in these equations. But don't worry, we'll get there. Now, this sum is equal to s, right? And I'm looking for one of these. Which one should I go with, right? Well, I could probably just go for f of 1 over x because finding f of x from there is pretty easy. All you have to do is use the reciprocal function. So let's go ahead and look for the sum of these two things x over x minus 1 and 1 minus x. Which equation would do you think that would be? f of 1 minus x and f of x over x minus 1, it will be equation number 3. In other words, a, an equation that doesn't contain f of 1 over x. Make sense? So, let's go ahead and copy that down. f of 1 minus x plus f of x over x minus 1 from the third equation is 1 over x, right? So these two add up to 1 over x. So now I have 1 over x from the, this sum plus f of 1 over x 
equals negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 divided by 2x squared minus x. Now what I have to do is subtract 1 over x from both sides and you'll end up with f of 1 over x. Let's go ahead and make a common denominator one more time. f of 1 over x equals, now you got to think about it, uh, this is x times, oh by the way that's supposed to be 2x squared minus 2x, and basically this is 2x times x minus 1, this is just x, so I need to multiply this by 2 times x minus 1, right? In other words, that will be uh, 2x minus 2, here and here, and now we're going to get negative x cubed plus 3x squared minus 1 minus 2x plus 2 all over 2x squared minus 2x. Okay? Now let's simplify this a little bit more because we have additional terms. f of 1 over x equals, now we have the negative x cubed plus the 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by 2x squared minus 2x. Finally, I'm going to replace x with 1 over x because that's going to give me f of x. You see that? You, some people will also do x replace x with 1 over t or set x equal to 1 over t and then change the t back to x. It's the same thing. But from here, f of 1 over 1 over x is going to be f of x. And then we're going to get negative 1 over x cubed plus 3 over x squared minus 2 over x plus 1 divided by 2 over x squared minus 2 over x. Now, probably the easiest way to simplify this expression is multiplying the top and the bottom by x cubed. Now, think about it. You're going to cross-cancel some stuff. So, let's see. When you distribute the x cubed over, you're going to get negative 1 plus 3x minus 2x squared plus x cubed. It's kind of backward, right? And then here, you're going to get 2x minus 2x squared. So things are kind of reversed. Let's go ahead and write this in standard form and then we'll be done. I know this was a long video, but I didn't want to make any mistakes and hopefully I didn't. Please let me know if I did because I tried to do it carefully, checking my work along the way. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.